Rain, rain, go away. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I guess I am, I don't know. Um, it's really a, kind of a somber, rainy day on my end on the East Coast. So um, I'm gonna put some music on, hopefully it cheers me up. I didn't have work today, I can't see the kids. So we're gonna be listening to Bruford, finally. Um, I've been going through the solo. Yes, you know, I did Chris Squire last week. Um, I know Bill wasn't a part of them forever, but he definitely was one of the biggest parts of early yes I think when he was there and um, he is one of my favorite drummers if not the favorite um, that I've found on this channel so far he's like the everyman drummer he's just all over the place good he's got talent and everything he can do anything with it and it's just he's so fun to listen to so I'm excited to see what his solo stuff is like I have no idea who's a part of it I have no idea anything I like to find out like after the first song I like going in completely blind on everything usually for like something like this that's new um, so we'll find out all the deets afterwards. Let's go. This is called One of a Kind by Bruford. If you guys aren't subscribed, please help a brother out. Click the icon right down there. I'd really appreciate it. It takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free and uh, really helps the channel out. We are pushing on 7K soon. Crazy. Thank you so much, guys. Let's do it. Bruford, One of a Kind. Three, two, one, go. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. This is funky as hell. I like this. <laughs> So smooth sounding. It's got a nice groove to it, obviously. Kind of got like a jazzy touch to it. God damn. <laughs> it's like Prog Fusion, bro. What the fuck? Oh, that's an awesome rhythm. That snare sounds so crazy, the way he has it tuned. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I love how that came in. Oh, God, so soft. Whoa, dude, those dynamics, holy shit. Bass is crazy, holy shit. Bill loves this kind of jazzy, like his flair. It's so good, man.
<laughs> Weird instrumental prog is like my favorite, so this is right up my alley, dude. <laughs> That bass is just so consistently like, oh man, that undertone's crazy. And the guitar sounds like it's far away from the mic. But <laughs> I love it. so different but I love it dude <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Who is that? Uh. Change it up. Let's go. Holy shit. Bruford was ahead of his time, man. I think like, he had his eyes set on the future with this with his sound. He really did. What the fuck? Is that it? Yep. Wow. <laughs> um, that's exactly what I imagined this was going to be, uh, and the complete opposite. Uh, completely not what I thought it was going to be. Um, holy shit, man. Bill is a fucking true artist, dude. Like, he really is. The way that he just takes control of a song and, like, he does this thing, like, in the background, but at the same time, like, he's up front in the mix with, like, his fills and everything because they kind of are, like, sharp and out of nowhere, and he goes right back to what he was doing or, like, the next section, and um, he's so good at that. And, like, like I always say that his dynamics are great. Like, he can play really, really loud, really, really soft and go back to like back and forth with it, like, so well. And um, I don't know who the other people in this band were, um, but, wow, the keys are great, the guitar is great, bass is great. I'm guessing this is, like, another super group of people um i swear the guitar sounded so familiar i probably heard these people before or at least one or two of them because the guitar sounded familiar the keys kind of sounded familiar um but damn bass was great and like consistent throughout too like that part at the end there it was just he was looking at so many notes just drumming along bro but it was like forming this like foundation for like the rest of the sound to lay on it was just really cool man what they were doing in the song they all use dynamics really well especially in the middle like where it got soft loud soft and like they would just, just jump into things and go right back out. And like these strange time signatures and rhythms, man. Like that's exactly what I thought Bruford was going to be. <laughs> Seriously, it really did. And, um, but at the same time, wow, I was not expecting half of that. I was not expecting like the kind of eighties future keys, sort of like how UK is. Um, like I said, he had his, so his eyes set on the future, definitely with his sound. Um, cause now in two bands that UK and this, um, he is, very kind of like synth heavy on like the front of the mix and like that's a lot what like what the 80s sound was i think what kind of prog and rock turned into for like the 80s and then that you know that i think heavy metal and hair metal and thrash was a whole different thing like from punk and all that i think this was like the whatever the more mainstream rock and like what the prog bands kind of turned into in the 80s was kind of I think hinted at with UK in this band. And like, this is just coming from a kid who, well, not a kid, I'm 29, but 
a guy who was not alive even close to when this was coming out. You know, I wasn't even a twinkle in my uh, parents' eye yet, but uh, I can just see like kind of patterns with it. And you guys have informed me like about that too. And I think that's so cool how Bill was ahead of his time in so many ways, man. And like, I, just like how I said in the beginning, he's just the everyman drummer. He can do anything. And he's just such, he's got such a good positive attitude and like a work ethic. And I really appreciate that because I try to, you know, instill that in myself because that's what I got from my mom. And it was like, I always tell you, like my dad died, but like my mom was, it was just me and my mom after that. And um, she always tried to stay positive and she had one hell of a work ethic. That's what I picked up from my mom. And um, I hope I never lose that because I like to work. I like to do things and, you know, even if it's you know, just making money, whatever, but like just doing stuff with my hands. Like I, I was raised on a horse farm. Like I rode horses as a kid and uh, I did a lot of farm work just because we had to every single day because there's no escaping farm work. You have to do it. <laughs> like you, you have to feed the horses. You got to pick the stalls like every day, twice a day. Like, and I made money from it sometimes, but like half the time it was just me doing it because I had to. <laughs> and I was the only child. I got to do all the chores. So, um, I did what I could, man, to stay busy and shit. And um, I just really, wow, man. Bill's a fucking hell of a drummer, isn't he, man? I just, I can't get over how it's not just the drums. I think if he had an overall vision for his sound and like these bands, like he definitely has input on it other than the drums. So I really think he was definitely future, like forward thinking. And uh, I'm so glad that I found him. Like I said, he's definitely my favorite drummer that I found in here so far. This motherfucker knows what he is doing. And um, I hope that uh, this work ethic thing that he uh, is stands for, because I've read some of like his descriptions on videos and stuff of his, and he always talks about work and being positive and stuff. And that's good, man. That's a good thing to teach people, because I think a lot of people nowadays <clears throat> don't have a work ethic, especially the generation after me, Gen Z. Bro, I work with some of them at my job. They are literally the worst employees I've ever seen in my life. Like, I thought... I was a bad employee when I was younger, um, but that's the thing. My problem was just sometimes not showing up. If I showed up, you got 100%, 120%, but it was just not showing up. These motherfuckers, not only do they not show up, but when they do show up, they don't do anything. They do less than nothing. They sit there on their phones with their earbuds up, with their feet propped up at the air when they're supposed to be up front at the door waiting for people to come in, and they're just sitting there, and then I have to do their job or come grab them every single time they have to do their job. And it's been multiple. It's not just one. This has been like four or five people that are Gen Z, and it's embarrassing. But it's okay. The phones, once they all blow up, I hope um, <laughs> we'll get better as a society. <laughs> uh, if you guys didn't know, we have a Patreon right here. Um, we got, we're almost at 40 members. I think we did hit 40 today, maybe. Maybe not. But um, if not, even though, thank you so much, guys. You guys are so amazing. Like, literally, I would not be here without y'all. Like, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your support. And I really appreciate your guidance with this music because I never would have found half of this shit, three-fourths of this stuff probably without y'all. So you have really been a blessing in my life, and it's really helped my outlook on things change. Um, I'm definitely trying to be more positive and have more hope, and uh, that's what a lot of this music has done for me because most of my music from my era is uh, sad and depressing. So I needed some happy music from back in the day to give me a jolt because our dreadful society just dredges on, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to stay positive and spread positivity in whatever way I can and not be a chucklehead about it. So, you know, here we are. Um, and if you guys don't like PayPal, <laughs> PayPal, if you don't like Patreon, there's a PayPal right there or in a link in the description, you can just click, it goes right to it. Uh, that's the best way to support the channel directly and me and my family directly because uh, we really could use it. And I really, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. What other songs by Roofer should we do next? Should we just continue this album or is there anything else? So. I don't know. And I kind of want to, I'm going to go on Wikipedia after this and find out everybody, but you all, I know y'all tell me anyway, y'all rock. Bye. <laughs>